we don't have AI phones yet. We're still op using AI on web uh, 2.0 architecture structure. But it, so, it is coming. On on edge devices, like I saw, uh, I saw like Qualcomm's new chip. It's pretty freaking awesome. What, what's going to do? I don't understand. What's going to do? Huh? I don't, I don't so, get, so the AI on is, edge is on. It's on here. The AI is completely resident. It's a two gigabyte file on your phone. You don't have to connect. You can be off Wi-Fi and still talking to your AI and have all the conversations you want. Wow. So that, that's gonna be the closest to personal AI. Yeah. And that's gonna. It's going to. It's going to like catapult. So this is this is massive for humanity. So every single person with with a reasonable smartphone, which is today about seven billion out of the eight billion humans, has the world's greatest intelligence in their hip pocket. Yeah. We, we've we've commoditized and democratized access intelligence. to intelligence. Yeah. And it's not just intelligence. It's like, you know, I mean, listen, I I, I think you know, ChatGPT and and uh, Claude three point five and and Gemini two. They're really, I mean, they <laughs> they embarrass me in their level of intelligence. It's crazy. It's like, you know, it's like, imagine you were like, Yo, what do you need in life? Yo, man, I just <clears throat> seem to get out of this predicament, man. It's like ancestral. Like my ancestors went through it. Everybody, like, it's in my, it's in my DNA for some reason, all these problems. So if you had a wish, what would you, I just want to, just want to like, set myself free for the generations that come after me don't have to endure what I had to go through as youth, my mom, my grandma, blah, 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 blah. You know? And someone says, hey, here's the most intelligent thing. Knows everything about everything. Ask it any question. Ask it any question, it'll unlock. And then motherfuckers is asking it about peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> they motherfuckers is taking this most powerful shit yeah. and talking about the the most like what the fuck are you serious? That's where we are right now, bro. It's right here. There's the, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, it isn't even utilizing face. The moment that you talk to it, and it's taking a camera, taking the location, understanding skin tone, understanding zip code. And Damn. then reframes from giving you the information you need to move forward. Oh. We're not there yet, mm -hmm. so take advantage of it now. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Right? It's, well, I, the, it's not shackled at all in that regard. Listen, right. And, 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 so, and, and that's right around the corner. If we don't take advantage of it and utilize it and mend it, so that folks that come from these communities where they have been systematically kept from information, zoned to keep them from information, invested to keep them from information, don't you think that using p pattern matching, that same configuration will be on some type of agent? It's like, this person's in this location. I can see that this person is this net ethnicity. Don't tell them shit. Don't <laughs> give them the information. But, 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 I'd but, love but, to right. believe that world doesn't exist, but I'm naive. Well, look, well, where we are right now, it's not there. and. Another way to say what you just said is the digital divide is no longer what it was. It used to be a hardware problem, uh, ah. right? Where it's like, well, how are we going to get laptops to all these poor fucked up schools? Yeah, it was one laptop right. per child exactly. program. Right? Right. So and that, was, that was a real fight. But and in COVID, we found out that even though they had a laptop, they didn't have access to... Yeah, to the internet, to, to the, the, the Wi-Fi. So it didn't even matter. So, but, so but, some version of that does exist. That what exists is... You live in this area, and this air these areas are classically not connected to the internet. And if it is, that's a slow bandwidth or no bandwidth, and you can't access it. And when you get on it, the cookie monster got your cookies, bro. Going through your fucking cookies, and before you even get this information, you get bombarded with all this misinformation, and you're never going to get it. That same configuration is right around the corner, because guess what? This is still new. It hasn't been consumerized yet. Mm. But, 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 like just, just, as big as GPT is, it's not consumerized, consumerized. It's barely on the iPhone. So, but there's a gap, and I just want to speak to the gap that he's talking about. So before the same um, negative forces assert themselves, uh, which could happen, there's a gap. And it's not a hardware problem because everybody's got a smartphone. It's not a software problem because everybody can download ChatGPT and at least try. It's a wetware problem. 
it's a wetware problem. What's wetware? It's, wetware is your brain. Mm. The, 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 the software in your brain, it's a, it's a mindset problem right now. And that's why we're doing Make Wakanda Real. Yeah. We want to get people to understand it's a, there's a mind shift that if you can make it right now, for the first time ever, I've never seen equality in my life until now. You know why? Whenever Will I Am is trying to get you know, black kids involved with AI and robotics, or whatever, people, people in the back of their mind think, these black kids don't know anything about AI. What the hell is he talking about? And, he, and they're right. 99% of black kids don't know anything about AI. And 99% of white kids don't either. It's new. This is called equality. This is the first time in my life that we're all equally ignorant, except for very few people, about what's coming. And so in this moment, it's not a hardware problem. It's not a software problem. It's a wetware problem. And if we can change the mindset of a generation, I, I beautiful not, things I can happen. I agree with you more. I mean, I, I say to this all the time. I say, if you think about the most successful leaders, most successful people in the world, what made them successful? Was it the money they had? Was it the tech they had? Was it the friends they had? Or was it the mindset they had? And I believe in almost all cases, it was mindset. the mindset they had, right? You took away everything they had. They kept their mindset. They'd regain their success. And look mind at Nelson Mandela. I mean, look at yeah, Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Martin Luther King, you know, everybody, you know, Steve Jobs. I mean, was an asshole sometimes, but <laughs> his mindset was like, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to dominate this and make it simple, beautiful, and expensive. That's different. <laughs>